This is Rick Brandenburg for North Carolina State University Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And over the past year or so, we've spent a lot of time in these videos talking about uh, the concern over bee kills, uh, not just here in the U.S., but globally. And we know that in certain countries and certain locations, uh, even in the U.S. and certain communities, they have dramatically reduced or banned the use of some neonicotinoid insecticides such as uh, Meridian, Merit, Imidacloprid, uh, Arena, and Aloft simply because of concern over this. Well, I'm out here in the desert in Arizona, and one of the things that have struck, struck me today as I was walking around on a golf course that has uh, used uh, neonicotinoids extensively because they have very, very serious white grub problems, and they've had to manage them uh, with a pretty aggressive program over the last 10, 12 years, has been along the edge of the desert, a lot of the plants that have flowers on them. Absolutely the hundreds and hundreds of bees that I see pollinating and, and, and working on these flowers. And if someone told you that they use neonicotinoids Nicotinoids here, I expect a lot of people would, would think that they wouldn't see any honeybees here, and other people would be absolutely amazed at the number of honeybees on these plants. So, you know, it's a, it, it doesn't prove a point one way or the other, but obviously a lot of the claims have been exaggerated on both sides, and it's an issue that we continue to need to, need to address. We need to address it intelligently, and when people ask us about it, we got to have the right information, not just blow them off and, and act like they, they don't know what they're talking about, because it is a global concern. Uh, you know, I don't personally think it's due to neonicotinoid use based on the science that I've seen, and as evidence here in the desert, there's plenty of honeybees to go around. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again next time.